shin splints is a, a an umbrella term okay for any pain around the front or inside of the shin so um, <clears throat> probably the most common type of shin splints is a form of compartment syndrome so you basically have all of the muscles run in compartments. So there's a compartment to the front of the shin and a compartment to the side of the shin and a compartment behind the shin. Um, so if you're new to a sport or if you're changing the activity or rapidly increasing the amount of activity you're doing, you can build up pressure in those compartments which gives you shin pain. You'll probably find that starts to pass off over a period of time. Um, probably the first thing to do there is rest and change the lacing sometimes if the lacing is too tight it can form uh, cause the compartments to swell. Um, probably the most common type I see are more chronic long-term shin pain so when you tried the the rest ice compression elevation sort of um, idea is uh, pain down the inside of the shin and that's actually the uh, most commonly you've got a, a muscle that makes up part of your Achilles tendon called the soleus muscle so a shorter calf muscle it has anchors or fascial attachments down the inside and lower part of the shin and if your mechanics aren't right you can put too much stress on that uh, on that anchor and then you start to get quite painful shin pain. You can have with shin pain or shin splints little micro fractures actually in the in the cortex of the bone so the outer areas of the bone and that's where you've got too much load going up the inside of your leg and too much load coming down the inside of your leg so bowed legs, bowed uh, tibia or shin bone can cause that restriction of hip movement, lots of things can cause increased effectively compression bowing of the tibia which causes little fractures there so that can be um, uh, sorted out quite easily by changing the dynamics with an orthotic and treating the, the more proximal cause, the, the hips or whatever are causing it so we can change the angle that ground hits that so we can remove those forces or change the direction that they are uh, running at. Probably the most common cause of shin splints I see is a rapid movement from being supinated to being pronated. So it may not be an excessive pronation, it's a fast movement. So that would put extra stress on particularly the soleus anchors and sometimes also the big toe joint and toe muscles have anchors in the back, in, into the back of the tibia as well. So if you're rotating very quickly or having to use your big toe a lot, you may end up getting shin pain as a result of that. So again, finding the cause of it is definitely the way to get rid of it.